This is the Jamal Adil. You do not need a big phone for big performance. The iPhone 13 mini proves that it may be smaller than any other phone in the market, but it offers the best camera and performance in the industry. The phone feels good in the hand and is easy to use with one hand. The iPhone 13 mini comes with the two cameras, a 12 MP focus 1.6 aperture wide angle camera with 1.7 micropixels for better low light performance and a 12 MP focus 2.4 aperture ultra wide angle camera with a 120 degree field of view. Is the iPhone 13 mini's video stabilization is really good? Let us take a look and let me know in the video description. Cinematic mode is a new camera setting that combines a number of sophisticated filmmaking tools such as Dolby Vision HDR and Rack Focus, a technique that changes the lens focus during a continuous shot. I'm giving you a side-by-side -side camera comparison with the different camera modes like video stabilization, cinematic mode, video results with 4K 60 frames per second and 1080p resolution with HDR enabled. In night mode, I will show you side by side comparison to you. With the new A15 Bionic system on chip that includes a quad core GPU, the iPhone 13 mini is a very powerful little phone. It even beats the best Android has to offer, even the best gaming phones. 3D Mark wide live graphics test, you can see a significant jump compared to the iPhone 12 mini. The results in the Geekbench which measures performance CPU also shows a clear difference iPhone 13 mini is great for cramming, believe it or not. The phone handles all game effortlessly, smoothly and with the best graphics. It does not seem to throttle or get hot while playing games and it can provide at least 7 to 8 hours of smooth gaming before the battery drops to a critical level.
iPhone 13 mini is the smallest Apple smartphone which is slightly more compact than the latest iPhone SE. You can hold the iPhone 13 mini in your hand quite comfortably. Personally, I'm excited about its compact size and cinematic video capabilities. It is available for $699 and you can find the links down below in the video description. So it's up to you which smartphone is best for you. If you are interested in wireless CarPlay adapter which can run Netflix and YouTube in your car infotainment system, then click on this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in this video.